Hey everybody, welcome to another replay in the 1357. This one is on Red Shear, and here is a T28 heavy tank. Oh, sorry, T28 heavy tank concept, my bad. Uh, the first time I've actually seen one in the wild. And if we look just over there, you can see him. So we're in a tier 8 match. Uh, there are only three tier 8s. One of them is an Arty, one's a TD, and one's an IS-3. It's not too bad. Um, our own tier 8s, one Arty and one 416, both of them are shockingly bad. Ooh, this could be rough. But we do have a decent enough player in the heavy tank concept, which is a tank with the trolliest of troll armor. Uh, the scheme is really weird. Sometimes it works fantastically, sometimes it doesn't work at all, as you may have seen in the videos I uploaded from EU goons with it. So there's that. It's kind of like a wild card. This one could really go either way. Now, I don't play light tanks very often, least of all on red chair, so I have no idea where an effective spotting place is. I decide to just kind of tool around the central ridge line for a bit and see if I can shoot my gun at anything. The 1357's gun is one of those cases of death of a thousand cuts. Uh, it doesn't do a lot of damage per shot, but it fires so quickly that it kind of freezes people. Um, it just it overloads the puppy brain and they can't handle it, and they just kind of stop and let you shoot them. And then half their hit points are gone before they even realize it. It's really just a great gun. The rate of fire is absolutely filthy. As the enemy tiger will obligingly demonstrate for you in just a moment. Still nothing spotted. Uh, I really should be sitting still in a bush, but, you know, light tank camera is maintained on the move. So I'm not losing too much by driving around like an idiot. Some of my team is deploying decently. I've seen worse, so I patiently wait and see if anything's going to come down the one line. Quite often you'll catch a medium or light coming down there, especially in these lower tier games, but nothing so far. Now our T28 heavy tank concept is actually barreling straight down the zero line, which is going to work very well for him, because it means he can't easily be flanked. And here's the enemy tiger. Watch this. Oh no, Mr. Tiger. Where did all your hit points go? Did get some help there from my team. Of course I needed it, because I'm now on reload. I bounce a shot from the Hellcat, although that's a 76mm gun, not the 90mm gun. He misses me and gets finished with one shell for me and some teammates shots. This is what I mean about this gun being filthy. Um, it just fires so quickly that people don't have time to react to it and before they know it they're missing 600 odd hit points. The enemy Hellcat and Cromwell are both in a fantastic position to get shot by me, although the slow aim time and quick rate of fire play havoc with my ability to hit them. This is a common problem on lower tier tanks with quick firing guns. The T3457 is notorious for its inability to consistently shoot things at its maximum rate of fire, but it also manifests itself here on the 1357. You shoot much faster than you aim. In many situations, it is a much better idea to pace your shots and only fire at about half your effective rate of fire, so you're firing as quickly as you can aim but I'm a very impatient person and very bad at tanks, so I tend to just mash left mouse as quickly as I can in the hopes that I'll get a maximum number of shells in the air and hopefully do some damage before I get vaporized. I managed to finish off the Dickamax and put a passing shot into the KV-13. He doesn't even know what to do, and before he can get a shot off at all, before he can even traverse his turret towards me, I managed to make a getaway. The reload time on this is really quite fast, in conjunction with the high rate of fire and large clip size, so you're not out of action for long after you've started your reload. Not as many hits as I'd like there, but I got at least some, and oh dear god, the enemy chaffee's diving on me while I'm reloading. 
This would normally be a death sentence. However, the enemy Chaffee is two things. First of all, a bad shot. Second of all, not very smart. I'm not a 1375 aimer, so I am a 1357. I fire much quicker and have many more shells. And so before he can get away, after realizing his mistake, I blow him away and survive with 329 hit points, which isn't much, but it's enough for now. Decide to reload as I flank around the E25 and Nas one. The Nas one goes down at the E25. He's about to. Get some help there from the M6. He claims the kill, I claim the damage. I was hoping the enemy Hellcat would crest up and give me a nice shot into his hull, but unfortunately it just wasn't meant to be. It looks like he did try and take a blind shot at me and hit the hill instead. At any rate, I push on to try and scoop up some more damage. He spots me. I can actually one-shot him now, but he manages to get a decent hit into me. Bit of a low roll. And before I can roll over the hilltop to finish him off, R416 does it instead. Surprisingly, R416's actually made a decent account for himself, at least in kills, in damage. We will have to look at the post games and see. But yet again, a fantastic example of what this tank excels at. It just stuns people because they're not used to it. Um, the Bulldog with the autoloader does it to some extent, but this thing people just don't expect because I think there's still a certain sense of they look at it and think, oh, it's just a 1375, I don't need to worry about it. And then they realize, actually, no, it's 1357, you do need to worry about it because by the time you can get one shot off, it's fired eight times into your side for about 650 odd damage. And that's assuming it bounces. Uh, I think the clip damage on this thing, 90 alpha, eight shots. I'm terrible at math. Um, but it's, it's not bad, it's not terrible. You could certainly handle a tier 6 medium or tier 6 tank destroyer with it. Actually, you could probably handle a tier 7 tank destroyer with it. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. And I would definitely recommend picking it up. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and my inability to do basic arithmetic on the fly. I think the next one is... It's not a 1357 game, I'll tell you that much. I can't remember what tank it's in, but I know that in the queue are some games in the Bromwell, the Cromwell B, the Premium, uh, the IS-2 Premium, and the Object 430, I think, is coming up in a couple of games. So there's that. And also another replay from this. Um, and another from the Challenger. So there's a fair bit of stuff coming up in about two days of playing the game again. I have given myself an enormous backlog of replays. I am not a smart man. Anyway, I'm going to end this one here. So as ever, thank you very much for watching and I will see you on the next one.